Enter the Gungeon. I've recently 100% completed this game, so why not do a nice casual run right now? Nothing to accomplish, nothing to unlock, just run through the game, beat up, uh, I don't know, the Dragon. Why not? Don't not even bother with Bullet Hell right now. So if you are unaware of what Enter the Gungeon is, it's pretty much your standard sort of roguelite, except with a gun-based twist. All about buying guns, shooting guns, every one of the enemies is usually based somewhat around something related to guns. For example, all these bulletkin here. Mostly it's just an excuse to make a bunch of pop culture references and gun puns. Or guns. No, wait, that doesn't actually work. Well, whatever. Point is that every time I come across one of those references, I will explain it in excruciating detail. <laughs> Look forward to it. Because, you know, that's what I do, baby. Anyway, chose the hunter right now because she starts out with a crossbow, which as far as starting weapon go weapons go is the best one to ask for. Can one-shot most of the basic enemies that you find around here, or at the very least two-shot them. And a single load of ammo will last you pretty much the entire floor. She does have some other advantages, but those generally aren't worth it compared to just having a really good starting weapon. Usually I like also picking the Marine, just because his increased accuracy means that you can... Anytime you shoot at an enemy, you'll all generally be guaranteed to hit it in some way. He also has, what, a slight bit of extra health and a slight bit of extra damage, which isn't bad either, but at the same time, something that I'm not really particularly concerned about. Other big mechanic, being that this is made by a game named Dodge Roll, is the, well, Dodge Roll. Use that to dodge pretty much everything, which is important in this game because Gungeon is one that definitely rewards playing very well. Don't get a whole lot of pickups on the- hello. Free keys forever. <laughs> but anyway, um... I generally don't think too much about, uh... health in a lot of other games, but this one, it's very, very important that you never get hit or have some sort of form of regening health available to you at all points in time. I mean, really, a lot of the stuff that you get in this game is extremely random and unpredictable. Honestly, one of the things that I kind of have a little bit of an issue with, the, the only real strategy when it comes to Gungeon is well, that you're going to clear every single room and hope that each one of the rooms drops something. It might be ammo for your gun, it might be a key, it might be absolutely nothing at all. Bionic leg. I, I don't know if that has a specific reference. I mean, More Machine than Man, Twisted and Evil is a... is a Star Wars reference, and the skeleton key is just skeleton key. And... that's it. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, some of them will be worse later. For right now, now that I have the ability to open up every single chest in the game, that at least RNG-wise does kind of put the odds in my favor of getting something good. Because keys tend to be one of the more valuable things you can get. And also one of the more questionable things that you can get too. I mean, similarly, even going into, like, secret levels and everything like that is not usually to get any sort of specific item or specific class of item or anything like that. But it's all about uh, just getting as many chests as possible, which I'm definitely going to want to do considering that I do have the ability to open up every single chest I come across. Keys are definitely not at a premium at this point. A Gemini Carbine, I think, is also another Star Wars reference. Being that this is a game taking place in a sci-fi setting, it makes sense. That that's the sort of style that they're going for. The image and the style that she used to. Nothing. But hey, getting a good gun is probably the best thing that you can get in this game. I'd like to say that when it comes to Gungeon, passive items are not nearly as important as a good gun. And really... 
provided that you, you have enough ammo for it, or at least enough ability to get ammo for it, one gun will do you for the entire game. Quite nice. But it's actually very similar to another game which I'd like to say probably takes a lot of cues from Enter the Gungeon. At least after playing both of them extensively, uh, Dungreed. Where that game gives you a whole lot of items, but you only really need one to be able to beat the game. Same thing here, but with the ability to... But with the inability to have infinite ammo, unlike the weaponry that you get in that game, it can sometimes be a little bit more questionable. Well, at the same time, again, ammo is 100% random if you're going to get it or not, or if it's even going to be stocked in the shop. Uh, this game can be frustratingly inconsistent in its difficulty curve because of that. You get one really good gun, you set for life. Something like your, uh, what, the compressed air tank, uh, composite gun, black hole gun, which I was able to pretty much carry me through the, the point in time when I did challenge mode. Eh? Oh. It's like, it's definitely interesting just, uh, how different each one of these runs can be. Can I get the Super Soaker? 35. Cool. Great. Cool. Great. Nice. That's exactly what I want. Um, need a barrel of water or the Mega Dowser, but that ain't happening. Happen to be anyone around here? Oh, come on. Am I not going to be able to go in there? Ah, whatever. You know what? I didn't want to do a really long run anyway, so that's fine. That's fine. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to get enough uh, good chests to kind of round out my yeah round out my uh, build as it were to be able to perfect bosses and everything like that even without having to have a uh, another area to go to it would have been pretty sweet though because like I said infinite keys means infinite chests and every single floor has at least two chests on them can also have chests drop randomly too this game is frustratingly random i guess is what i'm kind of is what i'm getting at you know it's it's, it's weird because a, a lot of other games of this sort of ilk do have usually some ability to sort of choose your destiny as it were oh hey cool synergy Slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Shakespearean type stuff. Mm, gun muncher might look at using soon. Trade two guns for a gun of a similar quality. Eh, anyway. But yeah, usually when it comes to these sort of games, there's some sort of way to influence the game. Like, get the odds in your favor. I think that the best example is probably the... Binding of Isaac, where on the second floor, if you take no red heart damage, you're able to get a devil deal, which is just a usually a pretty heavy type of damage increase or flight, something very good. But with Gungeon, it really is just about how many chests you're going to get, and let's hope those chests give you something. Shelaton cursed me, giving me jammed enemies, increased health, deal a full heart of damage each. I'm gonna have to look out for those. They're the red and black ones that I just saw there. Yeah, I think that the one thing that I really would have liked to have seen in this game is some sort of way to consistently get some of the NPCs. For example, Flint there, the guy that gave me the Shelaton key in the first place, something that might be, like, the savior of this run, is not guaranteed to appear there, or at all during your entire run. If there was, like, a way that you could find an area where you could get at least some of these NPCs, especially NPCs that are very good or ha stock some very good items, that would be one thing. But they're just not in the game, which is surprising. Anyway, obviously, what the slings and arrows combo is doing is turning... The bow, which is usually not a very good weapon, into a huge powerhouse by giving it the ability to be charged up like this. And there we go. 
Gun nuts. Yes, reference to dark nuts from the... Hmm, interesting. Reference to dark nuts from the Zelda series. Always have a ton of health. Cool. Not as cool. Oh, come on, turret. Come on. Yeesh, that took forever. Anyway, hopefully there is some sort of... Hopefully there is some form of healing in the shop. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, yeah, you didn't, generally don't get a whole lot of ability to heal in the game, which can be quite the sticky wicket sometimes. However, shotgun shell. Very stupid item, pretty effective. I'd like to say that most regular enemies go down from shotgun blasts pretty easily. I mean, you want, like, nice, long, sustained damage for... Nice try. I said nice try. You want, like, nice, long, sustained damage for bosses, but short burst damage that you get from shotguns or shotgun blasts that shoot shotguns... Generally better for individual enemies. I mean, if you can kill an enemy in a single hit, it's, it's what makes the... Like I was saying, it's what makes the... the Um, crossbow such a good item because it makes uh, fighting regular normal enemies so good early game. Uh, definitely hope I'm definitely hope that I get a decent amount of health from the boss, or at the very least some sort of decent, uh, yep, some sort of decent boss killing item. Still kind of without that right now, which is sort of surprising. Well, hey, that's health. I'll take it. And really, now that I'm thinking about it, you may just come into play here. Although Sling does do extra damage against bosses, so that might also be okay. The second floor boss is generally not one of the toughest around. Eh, you're good, but you know what? I'm gonna throw it in here, hope I can get something of decent quality. What'd you get? RPG, or an Urpaga. Leveled up because blah, 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 RPG, statistics, leveling. That's for if I manage to get to the sewers, which I was kind of without a water barrel to be able to do that. RPG's okay. I'm not really going to say it's the... Uh, not really going to say it's the sort of uh, best weapon. Very long load time kind of prevents that from happening. But explosions do take out bullets, which is pretty nice alone. That said, it's not going to be taking out too many bullets because it takes like a full minute to reload. That's not true, but it feels like it. Oh, yes, Brick Breaker, of course, Mario reference. I mean, it's bricks and they shoot out uh, coins, turtles, mushrooms. Yeah, of course. Ugh, very, very stupid sort of gun. Also, again, Koopas, not actually turtles. You never see them in the water. They are tortoises. Because you find them only on land. I guess so. <laughs> well, as far as uh, nice sustained damage goes, this is pretty much going to be my best option for that. Yeah, get right in range of the... Ah, that was close. Yeah, get right in range of my turret. That's quite nice. Gorgon. Meduzi. Yep, that's her actual name. Not tremendously terrible to fight, so hopefully I can get this perfect and get a health upgrade. Which is what you get if you do a perfect fight against the boss. Don't get hit at all. That is not just red heart damage, that includes... Arg! Well, so much for that. And get far enough away, the... It's uh, pretty much impossible to dodge those. Big... Uh... It's, of course, that's a full health bar that I now do not have access to, which kind of is sucky. Oh, well, still got my blanks. That's those little uh, blue bullets in the upper corner there. Can you blow them to... You can blow them to clear all the bullets on screen, which I'm going to do right now. Wow. <laughs> it's funny that despite the fact that I have uh, 
the ability to open up every single chest. Still not a whole lot of good items here. <laughs> I mean, it's good enough, but... It's really hoping that I would get something a little bit better than that around here. Hungry, hungry bullets. Obviously, reference to hungry, hungry hippos. And I think, what, these things that bullets... When they hit each other, become larger and more powerful? Horrible cannibalistic bullets. <laughs> Sentience and uh, to feed. On um, bullets? Uh, maybe it just uh, eats bullets that you that are shot at you. I have absolutely no idea, I'm being honest here. Uh, Alright, so again, the fact that I have the ability to open up every single chest in the game is great. Nothing else is particularly piquing my interest, and the fact that not really getting too much for ammo drops is also maybe going to start to become more of an issue over time here, rapidly. I'm guessing that that blue bullet is the sort that has the ability to eat bullets, as you can see right there. You know, it might actually be worth going back to the... I don't know how much more damage a charged arrow does, but it's probably... Well, it one-shot those guys. I mean, that's enough to have me continue to use this here. Oh, wow, look, it's a jammed rat. <laughs> Which normally passive items, or passive enemies that can't even hurt you. This one has been jammed by the Caliber, the Lord of Darkness. I don't know exactly what her plot role is in the game, but there definitely is one. Takes a while to charge this thing up, but the piercing alone, I think, makes it kind of apart from the the RPG in usefulness. Come on. Oh, this is a misfire beast, reference to a displacer beast, which does pretty much the exact same thing and looks like a big cat with tentacles. That's just what it be, baby. Those Executioner bullets, very, very frightening to be around, but I managed to deal with them pretty well. About. All right, get over to that thing. These guys, I think they're called Gunzukis after Godzuki, who was, I want to say, the nephew of Godzilla. And they shoot out bubbles like Bubble Bobble. That's the reference. All right, what do we got? Refills 50% of your currently equipped gun and then 20% of all the rest of your gun. So pretty, pretty nice if you can get an ammo spread like that. Ooh, shot bow, teleporter accident. Reference to the fly. Where I guess a shotgun and a <laughs> crossbow got... Yep, teleportation network. There you go. And I think that you can actually get a specific um, synergy. Ooh, challenge shrine. I think you can get a specific synergy that makes it turn into a, like, fly. Like, literally a fly gun that shoots even more bullets. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Really, I got enough um, health to weather a couple hits. These guys tend to be of the more difficult sort of enemies around here. Or at least just the more sort of enemies. You fight a lot of enemies in this room when you get the chance. They also don't really appear too often, but they always pay out with a chest, which is cool. Ah. Uh, damn it. Gotta stay away from that Gundra. S-I-C name. <laughs> yeah, what you got? The Trick Gun, which I think is a reference to Bloodborne, with the, their trick weapons that you can transform between two versions. Demons in the Lost Bowl of the Gungeon. Yep, Demon Hunters. There you go. Bloodborne indeed. Anything that I want here. I guess more. That Slings and Arrow synergy ain't bad at all as far as killing potential goes. I don't know exactly what that... I don't know exactly what that um, bionic leg gives you. I think it's just a piece of armor and extra speed, but... I have been getting a lot more armor. Can't really say that that's... Sure, why not? Can't really say exactly what it does. 
I have to look that up at some point. Let's go. In challenge mode, no problem. Hey, it's a good thing that I just fought Meduzi because, hey, here's the... Yeah. Because, hey, it has her ability in this room. The ability to freeze the trigger of your gun. Starting from those eye points. Yep, and every single part of challenge mode, if you choose that, is having every single one of these rooms just like this. It can It's really tough, especially in later bit, where some of the bosses get their own unique modifiers on them, which is just fantastic. What you got? Ring of fire resistance. So I guess I can't be set on fire. Cool. Would have been nice for this room. <laughs> what with the whole... Hey! Three shots in a row. That was very close. Glad that I was rolling at that point in time. Otherwise, I probably would have got hit. You know what? Let's just throw down my turret. Have turret, buddy. Take care of it. Uh, Gunsling King... It usually gives you at least some sort of like halfway decent item, but it's such a grab bag. Again, like the rest of this game. <laughs> it's consistently inconsistent. No, oh, one of the uh, shambling rounds references shambling mound dungeons and dragons enemy, which I think is pretty much the same sort of dude. You know what, let's just do this. It becomes more powerful as more parts are taken off of it. Ending in a big explosion. Oh, hey, Honeycomb. Be prepared. Shoots out bees when you get hurt. Terraria reference. Oh, very, very, very good stuff here. Um, what do we got? Professor Gupton selling weird egg, full heal, or... Because it's a Pokemon reference, after you walk long enough, you're able to hatch it into an item. Gungeon Ant, which I think is just an ant, but might... I mean, I kind of want it to be a reference to NetHack and its infamous army ants, which are the cause of more deaths of adventurers than any other item, uh, than any other enemy in the entire game. But really, it's probably just a reference to an ant. Duct tape. That's what I'm going to get combines two guns. However, I would really like to get two guns that I'd actually like to combine first before I buy that, because it is considered an active item. So, 38 special for the Inquisitive. I remember that because it's a reference to detective fiction and that being the choice of fictional detectives. Hard-boiled. Of the hard-boiled variety. You will see a dame walk into your room with gams up to here. You're probably wielding a 38 special. Don't hold on to that thing loosely, and whatever you do, don't let it go. There, there's my own contribution to dumb references. Ah! Those bees are pretty powerful, at least. <laughs> I don't know how long. Oh, come on. Well, again, I would really really enjoy using a like a shot bow maybe I really really enjoy using the duct tape on something but I don't really have anything good enough for that tread not let's go it's just a tank <laughs> it is a tank and it will just just run away from it run away from it constantly and shoot backwards there that's how you deal with the tank other than that, it has all of the normal abilities of a tank, as well as, for some reason, shells that can spawn bullets. Which I guess makes a certain amount of sense, this being Enter the Gungeon. <laughs> but still, it is rather... Si Whoa! Hey, where'd that come from? Oh, well, I mean, I came from the tank, but still. Dang, I was really hoping that I could at least get, you know, one extra... One extra uh, heart container here by perfecting at least one boss, but... No such luck. Because I'm definitely not going to be perfecting the Chamber 4 and 5 bosses. Not that it really matters too much as far as perfecting those ones. Give me something good so I can use duct tape on it. I will take the duct tape to the next floor. It is the portable table. Just no when to fold them is uh, the gambler Kenny Rogers, I want to say, reference? Anyway, it creates a table that you can flip. 
you know, as much as the whole like flipping tables is a staple of the game to create cover, don't really use it all that much. I want to say that it's just when you get good enough at uh, yeah, yeah. When you get good enough at um, kind of running around the game, you generally don't need the ability to. Generally, don't really need the ability to. Uh, create cover like that. It's also really inconsistent if you're going to find a table or not in any individual area. So, makes its usefulness limited. Despite, again, being a big, like, marquee type of uh, mechanic in the game. Oh boy, another shambling man. Cool. Sh or shambling mount. Around. Shambling Round is the dumb name of this I enemy. Why am I confusing enemies and items right now? It's very silly. Hey, thanks, Hippo Bullets. Or Hungry Hungry Bullets, or whatever you're called. I don't care. Oh, yeah, you can also... Oh, great. Hate those guys. Um, all right, more keys. Don't really need keys, being that I got the Shelaton key, but still got it anyway. What do you get? What do you got? Health, keys, bombs. As long as you have enough rubies. All right, let's go. Chamber four, the hollow. This is generally the point in time where it starts getting real. A decent gun can carry you through the previous sections, the previous areas. This one does require that you do actually play well somewhat. So of course, despite the fact that I can open up every single one of my, every single one of the chests that I come across, still don't have a good gun right now, so it's going to be extra important to play well. I don't actually need this key, but I'm gonna kill that key bullet kin anyway. No, actually I'm not. So that's okay too. Because again, don't really need the keys for anything. <laughs> oh, by the way, Shelaton is an enemy type in the game. That's the reference there. Let's go. <laughs> Gun nuts still as frustrating as ever to deal with. Wow. That was apparently a hungry bullet there, because that was a lot of flashes. Okay. Uh, duct tape is just a total... Oh, it's empty. Okay. Yeah, duct tape is a total game breaker if you get the right sort of guns. Like I was talking about uh, the composite gun or the black hole gun. You combine the black hole gun, which can suck up enemy bullets, Essentially, it essentially renders you invincible to a certain degree. It's crazy. Hey, <laughs> you, uh, sure, why not? Why not? Anything else? Locks in this place are all sentient. So he buys keys from you, so you stop killing his lock brethren. And selling you the, the Shelaton key, which allows you to kill all of his lock brethren. Flint is maybe not the smartest guy. <laughs> But you know what? It helps me out regardless. This may be an issue. Ah! <laughs> roll over the... Can you not roll over coffins or was I just doing badly? <laughs> Which might be a complete uh, possibility too. Man, those hungry hungry hippo bullets are not doing me too bad. In general, you want to have a good gun over a good passive, but it seems like if you can shoot fast enough. This can kind of turn any gun into that. Eh, to a certain degree. And hollow points. Ghosts. Which are called hollow points. Like the bullet type. Real Tommy guns, but not even a problem right now. And they always shoot directly at you. They don't try to predict your movement. Yeah, those are always the more difficult types of enemies. The ones that try to uh oh, speaking of shelatans, there's one right now. Hi. Ah, I hate you. You were supposed to bring balance to the force, and etc. 
Okay. Those things can be very frustrating to fight. Of course, also, when you have a Gunjurer sniping you from off screen, it's also not the easiest either. You are the one that was summoning those, so being that he's... The summoner is dead now. I can get a few free pot shots on the actual Shelaton. These guys are called Whizbangs. Very annoying. <laughs> but generally low on the list of threats compared to even like dudes like this. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh oh. He's jammed. And now he's dead. So it doesn't even matter anyway. I'm the best. There's the boss, but again, really gonna try to go for every single chest that I can get. Because I need all the advantages that I can muster. Ah, screw it, blank. I didn't want to blank there, but I will anyway. Just so I don't die. Oh, and it's a jammed whizbang. Fun. You can see that he actually has a unique sort of... I mean, along with the red-black color scheme, he also has a unique sort of summon now where he gets a, a more transparent version of his usual thing. All right, come on. Don't even need too many... Don't even need too many hungry bullets to kind of cover my bases when it comes to using a weapon like this. There we are. And it didn't really matter anyway because I just uh, cheesed it out with good old-fashioned charge shot. Fun. I don't even like this gun. Cheesed it out with good old-fashioned uh, running around a pillar. Pillar kiting. And as you can tell, the um, charge gun is not really the, uh, not really my favorite sort of gun. You're not a mimic, are you? Well, actually, my dog tells me if it's a mimic. What am I even thinking? Hey, regular shotgun's good. But uh, shot bow would be the more optimal sort of solution to a lot of my... Interrupt the summoning ritual. To my uh, issues as of right now. There we go. Now I don't have to deal with a million shellatin, which will be nice just alone. Alright, alright, and... Ah, oh, come on. Just need, like, one... Just need one good gun here, and then I can combine it with another gun and get s something. I don't know. <laughs> Charge shot might be what I'm going to go for here in regards with that. Combined with, um... Man, I don't even know. Anyway, spents don't even matter. They have very little health. Oh, wait, this is a trick gun. I thought I was using my uh, basic infinite ammo gun. No such... Not what I was, uh... Not what I wanted, but you know what? This will actually work out just fine. <laughs> Let's continue. Ah! Hate those spiders. Again, another Dungeons & Dragons reference, introduced in the Gungeons & Dragons update, so makes sense. I think they're based on phaser spiders in Dungeons & Dragons? Couldn't really tell, yeah. Dog? Tell me if this is a mimic. No? Cool. Oh my god. Oh, this is a pretty decent item and everything, but it's like, I want to... It was the duct tape for something. Like, what would I, would I combine the, the duct tape with? God, I don't know. Nothing here is that good. Uh, any secret areas? Take one of those. In material form gives you flight and you can't get hit by bullets, but like... It's not that useful. I mean, I... As good as I think that could be, it's like, that's not... I want to get something really good with the with that duct tape. It's not every day you see duct tape. It's such a rare item, and it's such a, a unique, usable item. I just don't have anything to use it on right now. Also, very little ammo pickups in this run. I had that one ammo spread earlier, and that's about it. 
good time, Charlie. Well then, uh, bruh, I guess we're going at it with the charge gun? Charge shot? Eh? Okay, High Priest, he can be quite irritating. One of the tougher bosses that you can fight right now. I don't know, I want to say like Wallmonger I hate the most. But we'll see, because this dude might completely destroy me as well. Or maybe I'll just get the bees to take care of. Oh, great. I told you there was no way that I was going to be getting uh, perfect on the fourth floor, boss. Surely I can get something better than... Oh, I think I might just die here. And... Okay. Where are you, High Priest? Oh, it's so very slow. Oh! I don't even know what I ran into there. All right, I guess I'll meet you back at the hollow and hopefully have something, something, anything. <laughs> and we're back at the boss. Whole different set of items. Managed to get one health upgrade from the second chamber. Beat the second boss without getting hit. But more specifically, a lot of very nice guns this time. And right now I'm using the proton backpack, reference to Ghostbusters, to beat up apparently the kill pillars. Reference to Zelda and the Armos Knight boss, which I think was the first boss in, um, the, uh, Link to the Past, maybe? I don't know, with stout bullets, which gives me slower but increased damage bullets. Doing a lot of, uh, a lot of good here. Also, you know what? I have Potion of Lead Skin, which makes me invincible, too. Potion of Iron Skin reference, Dungeons and Dragons, etc. And almost got like at least one of these dudes taken out, which should make the rest of them absolutely no problem at all. Additionally, have the item the Holy Grail, like gun hole, which gives me a whole lot of, uh, which restores half of the ammo of all of the guns in my possession when I take damage. Which has pretty much kept me at full, full, um... Hey, 38 Special, I was just making a reference. I was making a reference to that in the last run. But, um, yeah, it just kept me at full health for pretty much the entire time. Yeah, holy, holy grail, this item right here. Pretty good, but also probably the most difficult to get in the entire game. So, it takes a while to actually unlock that thing. Only considered a D-tier item, I think. It's pretty low tier for how good it is. I guess the idea is that you're never supposed to, um... You know, get hit or anything when you're using that. I'm going to go with the camera right now. Just because the camera is a room clearer to a certain extent. It damages every single enemy in the room. Assault rifle just for... A lot of extra damage against a uh, against single target enemies, and then bam. Man, camera's great. <laughs> Continuing the tradition of roguelite cameras being actually usually pretty terrible, so this is kind of an ex this is kind of an exception. Oh wait, this is not even where I'm trying to go. And I got hit anyway. Whatever. There's all my ammo back. Yeah, cameras are, are, are a roguelike staple. Uh, the the tourist in NetHack has one as a starting item. All it does is confuse enemies. Also, another equally as useful one is in... Okay. Also, another equally useful one in uh, Spelunky, if you ever played that. It has one very specific use, but aside from that, I think it can kill undead instantly, which is... 
that's about the best you're going to get out of it. Now the forge here going down pretty great. Oh no, a mini boss. Shadow Magician. Alright, uh, what's a good thing for taking out the Shadow Magician? I guess a Proton Pack again. Sure, why not? And I'll just go invincible and then get right up next to him. Up close and personal. Nothing personal, kid. Do do do. Oh! <laughs> Ran out of invincibility there. But, hey, at least I was able to take him out pretty easy. And also refill. <laughs> also, apparently, refill all of the ammo that I lost there. Winchester rifle, guns and deviltry, which. Ah, uh, it's a reference to Deadwood? Oh, now I don't know. <laughs> Should know that one, you know? But, uh. Oh, right, can't save stuff for later because the shop is a little bit different on this floor. Oh, well, back to the camera. Triple A plus tier item every day of the week. Just look at it go. <laughs> Just look at it go. Alright, it doesn't do a whole lot of AoE damage, but you know what? It does enough, especially in a... Yeah, that was close. Especially in a room that has a lot of enemies in it. So, that's something. Wait. Oh, hey, guys. Calm down. But hey, that'll cover me for the other two chests that I'm going to find in this area. Honestly, taking out a dude like that, by uh, by virtue of having a huge area of effect on the camera, is pretty nice. Really cuts down on the sort of really irritating enemies that I have to fight, or buffed up enemies, if you look at some of his counterpart of those enemy types. Uh, very similar sort of item, item the uh, BFG, which is a uh, reference to Doom. Except this one, you can actually manage to get out of fairly low tier chests, comparatively. Clears rooms. As one does. Although, I will also give props to the fact that I have the Holy Grail buffing me up on, on ammo, too. Oh, wow, am I, like, just about done here? Yeah, you know what, screw it. Let's take out the big iron for this. Which, having the stout bullets, I managed to get the stout bullets entirely because I found a synergy chest when I had the big iron in my possession. Is why it's a giant gun instead of kind of a tiny shotgun. It's gold. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, screw it. <laughs> big iron, obviously, a reference to uh, Marty Robbins' Gunslinger Ballads album. Also famously used in Fallout New Vegas. The big iron on his hip. I remember it also having a kind of fun description, but I don't really have time to look at that one right now as I'm fighting the uh, Dragon. The High Dragon. Alright, let's just get right up here now that I got the Potion of Lead Skin working. Reflecting all them bullets back at him. Might be able to get into his second phase with... Oh, well, whatever. Refills my ammo. I don't care. I'm not going for the, the master rounds anyway. Alright. Second phase. Roll through the bullets. Also, I guess I should probably... Ah, that was close. Roll through the bullets, also reload my ammo so I can start hitting his heart right now. And... Well, that's actually not really what I wanted. I wanted the proton pack. Where is that? Here we are. <sighs> so much for getting a little bit of consistent damage on him. Oh, here we go. Doo -doo -doo. Super space turtle. Hero from space down there. As far as I know, I don't think that's a reference to anything in particular. But, there we go! Gungeon run complete. And you get the right items, it goes very easy. And I don't need that for anything, because that's something that you use very early in the game. But whatever, I got it anyway. So, pretty much, uh, there is one more... Cool. 
Nice, good run ended in the most embarrassing way possible. This goes down to the sixth chamber, bullet hell, but I don't feel like doing that right now. <laughs> I finished the run. I'm going to call it a day. So let's just get the gun that can kill the past, which is, yes, the plot of the game. And yes, that's what it looks like. And get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> 